Greetings, Audio Titans. Why did humans invent compressors and limiters? The American golden age of broadcast ran from the 1930s into the 40s and helped people forget about life for a while, especially during the Great Depression. For transmission, we needed something that could control the dynamic range to avoid overmodulating the carrier wave. Thus, the first limiters were born. They were designed to be as transparent as possible to control the dynamics while placing the Chicago Symphony in your living room with maximal realism. Of course, they weren't transparent, and when the digital recording age exploded in the 90s like a tab of one-dimensional lysergic acid dithalamide, we all realized something was missing. Yeah, like resolution, since recording halfway up a 16-bit ADAT meter gave you between 6 and 8 bits, but we decided it was the warmth of analog and blew the dust off our vintage compressors and limiters and started using them as color boxes. Search out our reels on Compressor Sonics to continue this saga.